How you doing everybody? This is the Geeky Husband and we are going to be starting off with a new series called The Weekly Heroes. Weekly Heroes is going to be an evaluation of a match um, which will be, uh, to start, my matches. Um, that is because we don't have any other options. I cannot um, record anyone else's games. So we're going to start with my matches. So we're starting here at Dragonshire. Uh, we're going to be the camera control will be mine. Uh, I'm just getting a sense of my team here. It's uh, I am Rengar, a support character. I've got Zagara, I've got Kerrigan, I've got Illidan, and I've got Nova. So that's three assassins and one specialist. A support would love to have a warrior class with them to support, but unfortunately that was not the case here. Uh, so I went with Nova. Um, I figured with her, my ability to slow and kind of um, protect her a little bit uh, with healing and shields. I'd be able to give her kind of an, an edge in some battles. Now, I don't think I picked up on the fact that there is a Zera tool in this on the screen right now, and that caused me a problem. Um, so we've got Nova. I'm trying to kind of bring out the Zera tool by using that the slow and the uh, shield and the fight in the mix of that. I thought that would kind of help me. And then we've got Shamus here, and I've got the heal. I'm dealing some significant damage. I thought, all right, I've got him. Nova finished him off. I cleaned him. One quick kill. So good team. A death in that situation really isn't all that um, all that difficult to deal with. So I was kind of happy with that. A quick 1v1. I got rid of Zeratul, so you know, there's no surprise there. And, you know, Nova's not going to be able to take serious damage on the Barbarian, but, again, I've got the Totem, which gives me the ability to put a shield on it. I made a mistake here. I should have backed up and supported Nova, made sure that she lived, and it looks like Zeratul um, got into the back of our base and uh, killed her off. So, I wasn't actually paying attention to that in-game. Um, I saw that just on the mini-map here. I mean, if I went back to support her, I would have been able to support her and uh, take out Zeratul. I got into a 1v1 with the Barbarian. The Barbarian does a lot more damage and is sustainable when they're fighting and continuing to put damage out. So I took too much damage and died. I was trying to stay in control of that uh, Dragon Shrine so that we can get the Dragon Knight. Unfortunately, it didn't work out well for me. So now down 2-1. Uh, Zeratul is trying to make a push there. Um, on Nova, so I thought I'd come in and try and support Nova, heal her up a bit, and then try and clear out this minion wave. So again, put that slow totem down, put the uh, lightning shield on, and that clears out that minion wave pretty quickly. Uh, I did get a uh, level up here, and my build for Rengar is not all that thought out. Uh, right now, it's pretty much I build up that lightning shield till to the as big and as strong as possible. I liked this because we got in a situation where the Barbarian was really taking a lot of damage, but for some reason, I mean, like, yeah, the Barbarian as a warrior had a lot of sustain in this situation. I really thought that we were going to be able to kill her because uh, Nova deals significant damage, and I was able to kind of slow, slow her down, but I wasn't very helpful. So, all right, jump in here. I got a shot at taking out the Barbarian. Lock her in. She cannot get around me. She cannot get through me. And I've blocked her in. So there you go. Nice good kill. Now I've got control of the shrine. Uh, as you can see on the map, it looks like we've got control over the bottom shrine. We've got somebody in the middle. So we're going to be able to get this Dragon Knight. That's a big win for us here. Dragon Knight's in. And what I generally recommend is always support the Dragon Knight. Um, the harder your team pushes with the Dragon Knight, the more damage it's going to do. So this was actually, looked like most of the team was here. Um, trying to catch Zeratul out. Zagara made a good push getting her minions in there. I'm right in the mix. Um, again, trying to use the slows and the lightning shield to put some damage in on both minions and the heroes as they were getting into the mix. Uh, we took out Zeratul there, nice, another nice kill. We're all alive um, right now. I'm out of mana, so I was not able to uh, give Zagara extra health. I wasn't able to put a shield down. Now I am, and I did. I did there. Got a bonus. Upgraded the shield again. I'm gonna finish off. Try and finish off this uh, 
And there you go. Okay, so got through the first wall and got the uh, the main building there. So that was that was a good push. Now the team lingered a little bit. Um, we did kill Sonya. Uh, they did some split pushing. You know, they got their uh, their Tyrand and Nova at the bottom to do some damage. Now after we got that push, we probably see as as you can see on the mini map, my team is still pushing and still kind of in there. So if they decided to gra try and grab the uh, the enemy minion uh, mercenary camp, that might have been a good choice. Um, unfortunately, we did not decide to do that at that time. Um, at that specific moment, I was a little concerned that um, they were going to put give us a pretty good pushback and push us out of their base. Um, but we stuck around long enough, we really could have gotten at least the smaller... Um, these uh, trolls at the bottom of their map um, earlier on. So again, we get in, we get into the mix, we get some slows on her. It looks like Nova, you know, finish Nova off, Ilden takes some significant damage there. And we've got our trolls pushing. Oh, I love these guys. They, they're giants. Giant mercenaries. You can see the team is calling for, I'd uh, say that uh, Nova is on the way. They're trying to finish off um, the Barbarian. I wanted to continue the push because we had Mercs. Unfortunately, we did not have a strong control on the Mercs. I went to the middle because I saw that they were their, uh, their minions were getting a good push. I was also a little concerned. I knew that Nova was up here um, and having some problems. So I thought, oh, I should probably check on her. She walked over a Avathur weapon and uh, died. Alright, um, now I've got the heroic ability at level 10. I took that as the um, as the main heal, the super heal. Uh, it brings basically anybody back to full health in the midst of a battle. There is a delay on it. It does take some time to um, cast. So on occasion, if you are in a big team fight and you are being focused on um, End up getting, you end up dying before it, it casts. So uh, you have to keep aware of that. So it's Ancestral Healing. Um, I got locked up here. I wanted to go mid to make sure we got the Dragon Knight, but they had the bottom. I was interested in getting in a, a fight with the Barbarian, but then I was remembering the Barbarian killed me last time we got into a fight. Um, I didn't have a level advantage on her at this point, so it really just didn't make sense for me to go in heavy. So, went in, you know, they've got, they were, they still had that mercenary camp, the knights, uh, there, so I went in and kind of, uh, cleared up, cleared the house there. Uh, here, cleaned out the mercenary camp and realized that I was going to have Nova support, uh, because Nova put that ping down, so I decided to go in on the barbarian, and I said, alright, let me put a slow down, uh, let me put a heal on her, because Nova was about to die. We get into the mix here, get a slowdown, put the shield on Illidan, and we got Sonya. Alright, so good push. I right, get that top um, shrine again. As I said, I reached level 12. Just keep adding to that lightning shield. Um, the abilities would add, it would add um, a level of healing, it would add it's a shield as well as doing the damage. Um, it would, one of the levels, it would not trigger unless there was an enemy nearby, so then it wouldn't waste a period of time where it was activated but not doing anything. I, I guess that shouldn't have really been a big concern for me. Um, I, I should consider putting that on something else. Uh, and then further on, it'll add it to your, your allies as well. Alright, so we've got a shot here. The Barbarian's busy with a hyped-up Illidan, tried to save Illidan and could not. Uh, Zagara pops in with her special. I'm in the mix. We know that we can kill the Barbarian, so we do. I gain my health back. I used my uh, ult to do that. Got the Dragon Knight and push, push, push. My only strategy with the Dragon Knight is to put as much damage in on um, both heroes that are in the mix and then the base. So I was hoping to kill Tyran there. I couldn't believe I didn't. She locked us up there. We got Tyran with uh, 
attack from Kerrigan. Kerrigan could not get out of there because we had not knocked down the wall yet. That was not as an effective attack. We did not take down the wall. And they did some serious pushing, some serious damage. We did get Nova, but I don't know if pushing to get Nova were really worth it. Here we had got Sonya, but the second Sonya, as well as the Zeratul, uh, started cleaning us out. The fact that we killed the second Sonya, the second Barbarian, is actually just a copy of Abathur. Getting away from that character as much as possible makes more sense than actually fighting it because it's not going to last forever. And sure enough, as you can see, my entire team is dead, apart from Karrion, who has just respawned from the beginning of that fight. So uh, that was a that was a pretty bad turn of events. We got a lot of kills while we were trying to push the lane, but we we didn't break through the wall. We didn't do significant damage, and um, unfortunately, that was my fault because I was the Dragon Knight. Um, I should have been paying a little bit more attention to how they were focusing me, and they focused me completely. So we're back on the map. Good idea when you're in a situation where you have to worry about um, re reconcern yourself with map control. Get yourself some mercenaries. So I know that I can um, personally solo the knight mercs. So I did just that. As you can see, perfect placement. I'm dealing damage to all four of them. Um, by the time I start swinging at one of the knights themselves and not the uh, healer, I was I already killed um, the healer and the first knight. So it moves pretty fast, get the guys going, and then we've got them killed. Now I should be paying more attention to what my team is doing here. They have they're all at bottom. This is one of my major mistakes. If you look at the map, I'm alone up top. It's Mercs v. Mercs, and, you know, minions v. Minions. They're pushing onto our side. I was worried about that, but what I should have been worried about was going to support my team at the bottom of the map because there was a team fight, and I'm the support. So that was a that was a big misstep for me, um, and I can, I can easily admit to that. And then I saw that we had a guy at the bottom, and I was at the top, so I was like, oh, okay, so we got this. No problem. I figured someone would get to the middle, but then we lost bottom. So then I was like, alright, well, no big deal. Don't want to end the fight with Nova. I'm going to go run down and support my teammates. Maybe kill a few minions. Get a sense of what's going on here. Right, I'm going to try and cut them from the back end and take. So... I already knew I was going to be in, in trouble with Tyran being here. She dealt me some pretty good damage. Uh, I think, yep, I used my ult. That should have been a kill. Kara cannot believe that Kerrigan missed killing Tyran at that point. And if she had killed her, we probably would have been better off. Again, I probably should have went in and supported um, Kerrigan or tried to tell her to retreat. Um, I didn't have audio you know, contact with my teammates here, so... Stepped in on a 2v1 and attacked the warrior instead of the support. Again, bad decision. Again, going solo. Not teaming up and therefore failing. So, unfortunately, because Rygar has such a survivor survivability in battle, I like to play him as a warrior. And he just doesn't do enough damage to that was pretty neat. That was, um, you know, Illidan new to run, new to, you know, protect himself. That Zeratul was just super aggressive. Um, we did not take care of those minions fast enough. Again, instead of me pushing against Tyrand and the Barbarian, if I had come back, I would have been able to deal with those minions a lot sooner, and they would have done a lot less damage. Um, also, right here... This was when I was looking to cut off the back of their escape and then thought, oh, no, wait, let me kill off the mercenary, which was going to die anyway. Oh, 
Now here you can see on the minimap we do get, we do have the control over the map. We've got the Dragon Knight. I was happy that I was able to get these mercs at the time I did because they're not going to. The enemy is not really going to focus in on those mercenaries. Also, I saw Tyran at the bottom of the map, so I was thinking maybe I'd try and go after her or try and cut her off. I thought she might try to roll in to the base. Anyway, um, rolling in, just kind of checking to see where she might be at. And we roll into the base. We've rolled through the first wall pretty quickly. Uh, it looked like the Dragon Knight dealt, got, dealt some serious damage, so I came in to try to heal. Um, I'm trying to take out this while well, we got some serious damage done to us. I used my uh, ultimate to heal up Illidan. I'm glad to be able to bring Illidan back. We knocked down that wall. We're pretty close to finishing off the base. Tried to kind of get in the mix there. Deal a couple damage. Cigar finishes it off and we roll out. Um, I wasn't able to heal. Could have put a shield up. And I think I did there. I think we lost somebody. Yeah, we lost Nova right there. And then my team ended up kind of staying back there. Again, this was a time when I really should have stuck around. I had the spells necessary. I really should have stuck around to support. I ran off, then I came back. It was a little late. Finished off Nova. We lost Kerrigan. Now we're kind of scraping here. Illin trying to make a run for it. I was trying to make sure he was not getting attacked. And okay. As you can see at the bottom left of the mini-map, you can see our uh, mercenaries have actually been able to do a little bit of damage, which is nice. Um, Cigar is back. I added to the ancestral feeling uh, to improve that. And right now it's 3v3. Um, I thought I might as well try and catch the other... Yeah, see, again. They want... The Zagara was pointing to capture the night camp. Um, because really, that was that's a bigger mercenary. And if I was there, I might have been able to help a little bit better. They, they, the two on one, they were able to do it. It might have been a chance for us to push all of us push the lane. But again, I'm getting a mercenary camp. We got Zagara taking care of a mercenary camp. We just knocked out a fort. We've got Illidan supporting the the knights. Um, we've got you know now all of a sudden we've got a real shot here at the Dragon Knight. And uh, this, again, sometimes I, I feel like I get a little caught up on trying to strategize in my head without the team. We didn't have a, at this point, there was no risk that we were going to lose the Dragon Knight because they weren't showing up on the map anywhere. They were dealing with the Knights, they were dealing with Illidan, they were dealing with the Mercenaries. Uh, Carrion got stuck in the on the far uh, right of our base with uh, with Zeratul and did finish him off, which was a nice pick. And we got the Dragonite right here. Got the Dragonite, good to go. But look at the map. I am the Dragonite. I am alone. My team is either dead or kind of moving back so there's no real support uh, we had some of the mercenaries at the top of the map we were able to kill off that base pretty quickly and quite the mercenaries were too mad magicians you know I probably should not have walked in on this I got dealt a lot of damage very quickly if I stayed back I wouldn't have taken the damage from the base and I would have had more support from my team because as you can see, Nova is just getting there. Now we're getting hit by Paran. Cigar is going down. They blew up Kerrigan uh, as well. I'm oh, sorry, not Kerrigan. Uh, they blew up Zagara. We blew up Tyran. I had the healing here. Looks like the healing worked. Put the shield up. I uh, used my, my ult to save Kerrigan. And then, yeah, the three of us really 
again, should have been focusing down. Now, we probably shouldn't have been focusing on the Barbarian, but that was the only enemy that was out. So, we ended up getting it, getting the Barbarian. Here, if you're paying attention, on the far left of the screen, you're going to see Zeratul moving in for the kill. I don't see him. I didn't realize it till late. Tried to cut into the grass to maybe... Uh, throw him off, and that did not work too well. So as you can see, I was a little disappointed. And in the mix there, you know, they lost Tyrand and the Barbarian, but we lost four. Now, we are on the offensive, but to lose four, and the only person left is Illidan, who, you know, now just popped his ulti against a invisible enemy. Uh, that was a that was a bigger problem than it's than I was expecting. Now, since they had the advantage of numbers here, they also had the advantage of getting into position in time. What should have happened right here was Zagar should and Illidan should have split one to the very north, one to the very south. That's why I said you know yet I, I saw the fact that the camp was going to come back in 20 seconds, but I called the shrines first. Because the shrines are going to pop in five seconds. Zagar's at the bottom. Illidan is nowhere. All right, we you know Illidan was fighting. Illidan was fighting with Kerrigan to try and catch another mercenary camp. Unfortunately, pushing a little too far. Um, but that's what happens. This is solo queue. None of these players on my team are friends of mine. I do not know them. And I thought that was our chance there. Unfortunately, we just missed out on the... Illidan's frustrated with... the thing. And this is another situation in which I went for a mercenary camp instead of supporting my team, um, which likely got Kerrigan or Zagara killed, one of the two, if not both of them. Um, that was not a good decision by me, even though I'm getting something. I, I'm always focused on map objectives, you know, mercenaries, um, map control, and I saw an opportunity here where I was like, alright, well, I've, we've got the top lane, and we've got the... we had somebody in mid, so I, I didn't think there was a problem. I did not catch the fact that they got to the top lane while I was dealing with this mercenary, and once the dragon popped, I was sh I was very surprised. And this was yet another situation in which I needed to get into the mix, into support of the team, um, a little bit faster. Thankfully, all worked out. We killed Zeratul, but we lost Illidan. So. I wasn't supportive enough as a teammate, and I got a damage dealer killed on our team. While still, when he died, I pretty much had all of my abilities, and I certainly had my ultimate. So, just, you know, kind of learning, learning the character. At that time, I got caught in the mix of um, Tyran's thing. Kerrigan warned of danger. I got blowed up. And that Dragonite is standing with 2% for not very long. But long enough, man, did he get some. They get some work out of that Dragonite. And that's pretty much why they won. As you can see, I gave a good a GG a good game. So. Our team comp wasn't very even, wasn't very uh, even for our opponents, but what really caused um, a drop on our team was uh, my drop on not being a supportive support, as well as um, not great team communication and really team, uh, team working together. Um, so that was the weekly heroes uh, for Heroes of the Stream. This is the Geeky Husband. Um, hope you've learned a little bit here. And uh, let me know in the comments if you feel that uh, there were some other things I may have missed out on, some of the points you'd like uh, to have been made, and uh, we'll talk about them.
That's the thing very much, guys. And I'll talk to you again next week.